practice his down command to stay in the down. So as Kim walks away from him, she rewards him. If she breaks position, she's going to grab the lead and then just step on her gently. He gets back into the down. She walks away from him again. She walks up to him, rewards him. Good. And release him. Good. All right. You're going to get distracted by spades. Call him to come. Good. Get him to down again. Just walk away from him. And reward him. Make sure those treats come nice and low to his chin. Beautiful. So he doesn't step up out of position to get the treat. So you can see there that Kim, his owner, was practicing the down and the sit with the treats. We use treats for more focused and static commands of the sit and the down. Now you can see I've got a tug in my hand there. He loves working with the tug. So now we're going to practice the commands with the tug toy. So I'm putting in my jacket there. He breaks position, just walk up to him, reissue the command. This is all still new to him. This is only our second session, so there's still a lot to work on. Instead of walking up and down in linear fashion, now I'm gonna be walking around. And you can see there that I pull it out of my jumper and I say the word tug, which is the word that we've agreed on for him to understand that he's gonna play with the tug. And now I'm just having a bit of rough, rough tug. It's exactly what Stubby likes to do. Obviously, each, each breed will have a different, different way of playing tug. A smaller dog, probably not as intense. Now I'm here, I'm giving the, the drop command. Drop means you should let it go. As soon as I say drop, he lets go of it. Put it back into my jumper. Put him back into the down command. I walk away from him. He breaks position out of excitement. Just reissue the command. I may have to help him out just by putting a little bit of pressure down onto his collar. I walk around, you can see he's waiting, he's waiting. And I say tug before I pull that tug out of my jumper and we start playing the game again. The reason why I was pulling it out of my jumper and putting it back in just before, because I don't want him to see that me pulling the tug out means he should run up and jump at me and try to bite it. Only is allowed to bite on the tug when I say the word tug. I play the game, I start patting him, I'm touching him, showing just because my hands are close to his, his face, it doesn't indicate that I want him to let go. Now I'm saying the word drop. When you say the word drop, just relax the pressure of the tug. Don't be putting pressure on the tug while you're saying drop because it could be confusing to him. He's a little bit aroused there and excited, doesn't want to let go. So I'm being patient. I've said the word drop once. I put a little bit of pressure up onto that collar there. As soon as he lets go, I let go of all pressure. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna give him the command again to drop. No, actually, sorry. I've told him to sit there. So it's not always for a drop, but it could be for the sit as well. He breaks position. I say, hey, he sat back down again. I put it into my jumper. See how when I'm moving my hand onto, uh, coming in and out of the jumper, he gets a little bit confused, thinks that it's time for play. So I'm pulling it in and out just to show him it's not about me grabbing the tug. My hand's waving around. It's only when I say the word tug. So you see now I say tug and boom, I pull it out and we play the game again. It's really, really important that we pull from side to side. I don't want to be pulling up and down too much because it's going to be hurting his neck. And I let him win the game as well. Let him run around, let him rejoice his win. It's not about always winning the tug. It's about him having fun and enjoying it. I've called him back over. I grab the tug in my hand and I say drop and he lets go of it straight away. Good stuff. And then, good. there we go. So if he likes to play tug, then we're gonna put it on command now and then make it a reward. Good work. These sort of dogs need this sort of outlet. They need this release. So let's put it on command. Let's put this impulse control into into um into action. Get that mind and body connection. And now get him to release it.
back in your jumper. Pull it out and put it back in again. Good. See how we're desensitizing. Just because you've touched the tug, it doesn't mean anything until. And there we go. Good work. Good work for second session, that's for sure. Whoa, there you go. It's a workout for everybody. Good work. <laughs> Let it go as well so he wins it. There we go. And. Dubby. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy.